Okay, so yeah. we're basically sitting here with one of our lovely client members, <laughs> Mark Drost. And um, I asked Mark to come here because he's made such an incredible progress and transformation over a year. Yeah, about. It'll be a year, January 16th. I remember when I started. Awesome. Okay, very cool. Oh, that's a great memory. Yeah. That was like the day. It was. It was, yeah. So can you walk us back through how you found us? Yeah, so it was a friend of mine, Tish Williams. She had come over to my house a couple months before, probably earlier, probably around before the holidays that time, before like all the typical guilt sets in. And I remember asking her, I thought she uh, looked really good, and I asked what she was doing, and she mentioned she was seeing you. Mm -hmm. And so I thought about it for a couple months, and I was like, do I, you know, I could do it on my own, but obviously couldn't, <laughs> because I've been struggling with the same thing for years and years and years. And yeah, and then when the new year came around, I uh, had a new job and I had some opportunity. So I thought I'd call you. I had some time and I, I was like, well, it can't hurt. And so I just talked to you on the phone and we went from there. <laughs> cool. Yes. And what is really interesting about that is, okay, well, so when you thought you could do it on your own, mm -hmm. um, did you have any idea of like what that would look like to do it on your own? Yeah, but it was totally... Uh, I'll say wrong <laughs> from from what I know now because I had tried like Whole30 and just like eating less and all of that but uh, I didn't really know what was you know I didn't know anything about the macros or how my body was metabolizing things so I just was like well I'll just eat less and then I would starve myself and then I would the weekend would come and I would either binge drink or gorge on food or whatever and um, and then end up in the exact same boat even if I had a perfect week which was usually me starving myself I mean I remember I cut out carbs too I did no carbs and I would <laughs> yeah. eat I would eat entire rotisserie chickens in one sitting because oh I'd be gosh. so hungry and right. I would like go the whole day because I couldn't you know there's carbs everywhere so I couldn't eat and I just would <laughs> yeah I would just gorge on whatever I saw I remember oh, I had uh, a friend had he'd gone to Whole Foods and I just went over to his house to hang out and I was so hungry he had got this big bag of banana chips and I was like, those count, and so I just ate all the <laughs> banana chips because for whatever reason, on Whole30, banana chips were okay. Oh my gosh. Even though those are mostly carbs, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so I didn't really know. <laughs> I thought I knew, I just thought I had to eat less and exercise more, and then it would all work out. Uh, I, yeah. I bet a lot of people who are watching this, or will be watching this at some point, it's like sometimes <laughs> we forget that there will be people watching later. Yeah. Um, that a lot of us have gone through doing things like that yeah until we understand any sort of information about what we're actually putting in our body absolutely so i guess now after you've gone through the nutrition portion of uh our work together mm -hmm. what has changed <laughs> uh everything the the just like from a mentality standpoint and um obviously like physically mm -hmm. so one of the Things that I appreciate the most about it is, uh, you know, we just had Thanksgiving and everyone in my family would eat and then they would be like, oh, this, I feel so bad. I gotta, you know, I gotta go run and I gotta do this <laughs> and I just feel terrible. And, and I didn't have any of that guilt because uh -huh. I knew, you know, I picked what I needed. I ate what I wanted and I, I of course, had a few more drinks that day than, than usual. But I also knew what I needed to do the next day to yeah. kind of balance that out. and. And so, yeah, so that's the biggest thing for me is I don't have any food, food guilt. Yes! Anymore, oh my God. Nice. Yeah. So good. That's a, hu that's, that's a huge thing. And then just physically, um, more energy throughout the day. Mm. Like I'm pretty, like from the time I get up, which getting up is always hard for me. <laughs> but um, I used to have a massive slump around, you know, after lunch or whatever, because I would just eat these massive portions. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, and then I would go and I wouldn't eat again until eight, so I wouldn't eat from like noon until seven or eight. Oh, and man. Yeah, I didn't have anything in between there, so I would just be tired. Uh, and so those are probably the biggest things of my energy and just mentality. I feel like both of those are a lot healthier. Whoa! And <laughs> even like now, when you look back at that kind of um, like spread of eating, yeah, are you like, of course I would be tired? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, no shit, because sorry, can I swear? Yeah, sure. It's, <laughs> and. Uh, and you know, same thing would be for breakfast. I would get get breakfast at eight, and then 
I'd wait till noon and I would be hungry in the middle of that and mm -hmm. I would fight it and say, no, 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 don't eat. You only want to eat a few times a day or, you know, three times or wherever. I was always on some new kick, like I always had some different plan. And uh, then <laughs> now doing this, I was like, well, yes, I'm just hungry. It's yeah. Like two and a half hours later, I'll just eat something right. in between. And uh, it, just, <laughs> it feels way better. <laughs> it's funny. You know, it sounds like common sense now, but it, it wasn't at the time. Totally. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think the reason why like, I really love hearing some of these stories yeah. is because I've probably been through absolutely all of the scenarios that oh, my yeah. clients have been through. And so, <laughs> yeah, I can definitely relate to that whole like starving yourself and then eating mm -hmm. bigger portions and then wondering like, oh, well, okay, maybe the next morning I'm just going to go run it off yeah. or something. Yeah, and then like it'll start like a start over again. Right. Start fresh. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it's, so, um, it still amazes me how we're taught this, mm -hmm. I mean, we're not even taught anything, actually. No, we just kind of, at least for me, I just pick it up from probably bad sources, like, uh, you know, a magazine or an article here that I didn't, you know, I didn't even bother to fact check, I just took as, as you know, gospel truth, and uh, yeah, just, it's bits and pieces, I think all I really remember actually learning is food pyramid. I don't even really remember that. Yeah. <laughs> right? It was yeah. like there was dairy in there, there was like uh -huh. grains, there was vegetables. Sugar there was... was very small on the top. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so what's so crazy about that too is that sugar is the <laughs> macronutrient that gives us energy. Yes. Yeah. So when you try to do that, um, the other thing that I, I did all the time is I would not, you know, I wouldn't eat and then I'd go to the gym and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't put up any weight or why I couldn't do any push-ups. Yes. I'm just tired all the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then that brings me into the next thing. So Mark was a super fun, he's a super fun person to do this with <laughs> because we not only did nutrition, but then he also went through our strength training education course and then has been using the training app too. Yep. So you've kind of like... Kind of done it all. Kind of, kind of done it all, which has been really fun. Okay, so... Yeah. What has that education, like, how has that impacted the way you look at training now as well? It's been kind of twofold. There's been the, you talk about the mind-muscle connection, and that is, it's just kind of, for me, just paying attention to what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you'll see a lot of people in the gym that are just, you know, doing bicep curls <laughs> like this and putting up as much as they can. And, yeah, I used to do that because mm -hmm. <laughs> you just want to put up as much as you can, um, but you're not focusing on anything and so the focus helps um well a, it helps me feel like i've you know done something and not get hurt mm -hmm. uh I, this is actually the longest i've gone without getting injured in the weight room or nice. anything yeah and that's and i think we started the like the training portion in like june or july mm -hmm. so that's been really cool i usually have knee issues and stuff but i haven't um but i think because i've been training smarter and safer mm -hmm. i haven't run into those and the other one is, um, I just, you, you teach a lot about, uh, like muscle growth and how to, I think progressive overload, you mm -hmm. call it. And I could never get past a certain threshold with, you know, curls or anything, still struggling with pull-ups, but getting closer. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's, yeah, it's because I wasn't doing it right. Like if you go in and you do the same thing every day and especially cause I would go sporadically, I didn't have mm -hmm. a plan go like two times a week and you end up doing the same thing mm -hmm. over and over and over and of course you're not gonna see any changes because you're you're, you're literally lifting at least in my case the same weight right. <laughs> each time yeah like uh this week was it's not like it's a ton but um i think you had me doing the uh you had me doing curls and it was like a super set of four right in a row mm -hmm. mixed with i think uh triceps and oh yeah that's I, one. yeah yeah <laughs> i'm burnt and i had never done I could never do more than like eight uh, curls with 25s. Mm -hmm. And I did eight with, um, sorry, I could never do more than like eight with 20. And I did eight with 30. And nice. For, you know, four times in a row. Awesome. Which was huge. Yeah. Uh, which is a huge percentage increase, too. Yeah. Yeah. And that was, and that was all, I could feel myself falling into old habits. And I thought, well, let me just grab the heavier ones. I think mm. I can do this. And, and I actually did it. Yeah. So that was, yeah. That was a fun, that was fun. And that was just Thursday. Awesome. <laughs> I love it. Also, okay, so the progressive overload thing is super cool mm -hmm. as well because we, 
just like you're saying, you have this like understanding like, ah, that's probably safe for me to just lift that. Yeah. And so we don't like press our bodies into doing just a little bit more, but when we don't ask it to do more, yeah. it doesn't have any, right. there's no need for it to change now. Yeah. So that's, yeah. Yeah. That was, and the other thing is I'd never thought about doing uh, sets of five. Mm -hmm. I thought that was, you know, like too low and I had to be doing more. Uh -huh. uh, but then when I would do the lower sets, I would really increase the weight to weight that I never thought that I could lift yes. or would never think of lifting. Yeah. So it's cool. It's changed. I really like the science of things and learning why things do what they do. So that's been really helpful. For me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We're the same. We're the same way. <laughs> we definitely want to know why or else yeah. it doesn't stick. No. You know, because then all of a sudden, if you if I don't have your training app or if I don't have something, then I have to make my own decisions. Mm -hmm. So I want to know, just like with food, I need to. I want to know why I'm doing what I'm doing. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Not that's just such taking a, it. Yeah. Yes, and that's so much the goal. It's like we mm -hmm. want to give people the education to make their own decisions. Yeah, and to like listen to their body and know what that means. Um, and then oh, there was one more thing. Okay, so in total, and I have to relook at your stats, but. Yeah. We took, so we like to take progress photos because it's such a great way of uh, presenting how the body has actually changed. And I remember starting to get certain, after like month one, I think, <laughs> I would start to get Mark's progress photos and just being like, dude, this is gonna get real good. Like, this is insane. And then now we look at your progress photos and it literally looks like a different human. Yeah, it, it, looks, like a, it looks like a different guy from the... And it's also funny too, like you can tell I hated taking the photos in the beginning. And I'm usually pretty tired of taking first thing in the morning, <laughs> but uh, my face has definitely, I'm not as miserable while mm -hmm. I'm taking it. And just like the overall shape of me. Yes, <laughs> it's so it's crazy. Changed. And it's gonna get yeah. some, and it's just gonna keep continuing. Right. Which yeah. is the really cool part. That's, yeah, that's what I'm excited about because you never, um, you never want to stop. Mm -mm. You just, I, at least for me, I continually see progress. And the progress photos, if you tend to have a bad week or something, then I can look at it and just be like, damn, okay, what did I do? Yeah. Follow the logs and uh, think about why that's that's going that way. Especially with the holidays here, it's mm -hmm. been really important for me to, to, to log my food um, and, and drinks, knowing like, and then look at the progress photos. Exactly. It's matching what. Yeah, because then you just can kind of self-reflect and be your own best scientist mm -hmm. and be like, oh, I need to change these values to produce X results. Um, and then the, the last thing I'll say here, because I love it, and it, this is like something that feels like it's happening for everyone, is uh, the difference between change and yeah. transformation. Yeah. So change is like you can change your hair and then you can change it back. Yeah. Like you can change your pants and then you can buy some new ones and get rid of the old ones. But transformation is something that you are now experiencing a different way of being and living and you can't go back. Yes. Yeah. And that's very true. I mean, <laughs> like think about like what I said about Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. You still have all this food and I still ate more than normal, but I knew what I was picking and what I was doing. And I, you know, would account for that earlier in the day, later in the day and the next day. Um, so yeah, you can't, un I can't unchange the way I see it now, which yeah. is really helpful because it's. It was like a mystery before. Totally. And, and now it makes sense. Yay! It's so fun. Yeah, Maybe. it is. It is fun. And I nerd out on calculating stuff and and all that. So so that helps. I know not everybody loves uh, counting and the food logs, but it it just, like I said, paints a really clear picture. Yeah, and it's all in the context of how you look at it. Mm -hmm. If you look at it like it's a game, yeah. then it can be a game. If you look at it like you have to wash your dishes again, then that's what it's going <laughs> to feel like. Your dishes, yeah. yeah, but it's like we have this amazing um, opportunity to like take control of our health and mm -hmm. like our overall well-being. And yeah. So. And yeah. it's been like for me the biggest thing is that it's stayed. Mm. Like I, you know, my goal was to get down to to one eighty. I think we dropped to one seventy five for a little bit, and then I've been at one eighty. I haven't gone over really since. July mm -hmm. and that's uh, and that's with holidays and birthdays and weddings and so and all that stuff that that would usually I would overindulge and then be really upset about and then just start the cycle over so that that has probably been the biggest takeaway for me I never thought it was possible to maintain yes. <laughs> it makes me so happy yeah yeah it's crazy it's it's weird to think about awesome <laughs> I love it well thank yeah. you so much yeah of course thank you <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right, signing off.